Hey everybody, we're down in the basement. I try not to film videos down here, but sometimes we have to do the project there. Do you remember this tool? This is my Great Dixter planting spade. I love this tool. Um, it has a little bit of a bend to it, so you can shovel with it, you can dig with it. It's my favorite thing to plant with, and it has this like longer handle, you know, so it's like, well, that long. But then remember this happened to it. Oh, oh no. Well, the good news is, is that we can fix this tool because I have a new handle and you can buy new handles for these tools. So uh, I have this new handle and we're going to walk through the process of doing this. Now, just a quick note on this. I've never done this before and I am absolutely following the directions from another video that I found online. So I'm going to link that video down below. So if you want like the original, go there. If you want to see me fumble around and try to figure it out for myself, then you want to watch this one. All right, let's go. So the first step is to take off the little rivet. And for that, we use a file. Okay, now we're going to just try cutting it. In the video, they want you to file this off and then pound that out. But since mine broke and you can actually see the whole um, pin through there, we're just going to cut that pin instead. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, don't. Okay, having survived that part, now this is, we have to get the new handle in there and you can see that the new handle has an angle to it. It's pretty obvious which way it goes. So the key here is to make sure that the handle is straight with the tool and then you kind of push it in a little. Now we have to drill the hole for the new pin. That's what we're going to do. Okay, next step is this is the this is the pin that comes with it. Is this brass? Yeah. This is brass. And we're going to put it through from the back. And now we have to cut this off. I did it. Okay, so it didn't go exactly as smoothly as it did in that other video, but I mean, listen, for every time I swing a hammer, I hit the thing I'm trying to hit like maybe one every three times. So it's bound to take a little bit longer, but I don't think that the finished product is too bad. I mean, it's all in there. It's certainly sturdy. The only thing I would say is that because I had that resting on a bad part of the vise, I uh, kind of made some chunks back here in the handle, but I will just... Uh, Sand that, sharpen the blade, oil the handle, which by the way, there is a video on how I did that for the rest of my tools. So if you haven't seen it yet, um, you can check it out. I'll put a link to that below too, but here we go. So this is one of the reasons why I, maybe I can just say I justify buying uh, fancy garden tools because you can fix them. They're meant to last long and you can fix them. All right, um, that was fun. I can't, I'm so happy to have my favorite garden tool back. And this handle, which is the old handle, is the one that I had the Impatient Gardener uh, put on there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this handle and turn this into like a dibber or something. I'll put a sand a point into this, turn this into a dibber or a handle for something. We'll use this for something. I'm not going to throw this handle away. All right, hope you're having a great day in your garden. We'll see you soon.